So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we will cover another amazing lab that is enhanced Gemini with access to external services with function calling. So first of all click on start lab and if you are new to this channel like the video and subscribe the channel. Now here you can see it's showing estimated time remaining you need to wait for it and then the console credentials will be shown over here. Just wait for this estimated time to get completed. Here you can see all things are done. So basically what you need to do you have to just open the cloud console in incognito window. Now wait a second just open the cloud console in incognito window. Now here it is getting signed in automatically if it asks for username and password check the lab for it. Now here click on I understand. Now just click on I agree and then click on agree and continue over here. Okay. Have to just do this step. Now from the navigation menu open vertex CI dashboard like this. Here basically you have to enable all the recommended APIs. Just click on enable all recommended APIs like this. Then come to the workbench page. So here make sure you are in the instance section. Here you will see the Jupyter Lab. So here you have to open this Jupyter Lab like this. So sometimes what happens we get issues so you have to just select it and click on the reset button in case you are unable to get the files okay you have to just reset it and if you face any issues regarding the Jupyter lab is not opening to come back here and then again open the Jupyter lab so just wait for this page to fully load. It will take some time so wait for it. So once the page is loaded it will look like this. Basically we have to create a python 3 notebook. So from here you have to just click on this python 3. 
and just come back to the lab instruction and come to the task number one so for the task number one we have to just rename the file like this so just copy it okay just copy it and just you can just right click and rename the net notebook just replace current file and you can also rename by right clicking on the file you can see here rename option is here okay yes it's here now what you need to do you need to just go to the description box and find this github repo so here all the codes are here first of all what you need to do you have to just run the third code okay just copy the third code first of all and if you face any error i will tell you what you need to do you have to just copy the first uh, sorry third code and just come to the here and just use this play button to run it now the kernel will restart itself and execute the other command so for the first time you may face error so i'll tell you what you need to do so you can see we got one warning you can ignore it it's temporary warning so finally we got one kind of error so what you need to do you can see although we got some task done so if you will try to check the score chances are there you may get some kind of score basically like half score or full score also so you have to just wait for it you can see this is the error which we are getting so just come over here and what you need to do let me show you come on this shell again just click over here and just run this play button so it will start to execute you can see we are getting the outputs over here so if you try to check the score let's check the last task score chances are there we will get the score for the last task so yes you can see we got 50 out of 100 now for the first task if you are facing this kind of error what you need to do you need to come back to the github repo i will tell you which command you have to run wait for a few more seconds so basically we have run these commands okay so what you need to do just come over here and one more important thing is that the region is set by me here on the lab basically the vertex here notebook so if the region you can see the lab instruction if the region or zone is different just update it accordingly you can see here on the top location is here you can just update the region according to the lab instruction now let me remove the kernel first of all and let's see whether we get the score or not so if we'll try to run it again you can see we got the output but still we aren't getting the score i think so yes we are getting this kind of error so for such error what you need to do you need to just read on the query come to the github repo scroll up and copy this first command okay just copy plus icon and just paste over here and run it so here let me see if we get another error so you can see we got 75 out of 100 so basically you need to wait for this task to get completed it will take some more time just save it and if you face any kind of error just rerun it or just keep hitting check my progress so you can see we are done with this lab that's all about this video thank you guys have a great day do like the video and share the challenge if you want another genai challenge labs you can check the video section also if you want a playlist you can comment down below thank you have a great day